hello everyone and once again welcome to my youtube channel and today i will be showing you how to produce organic soap using kojic deep honey and turmeric with other major ingredients like that so you have seen my ingredient here i'm using palm kernel oil using ethanol, using lye and water with other ingredients. So we'll start. So I will start by dissolving my caustic soda or lye. And I'll dissolve it in my water. You saw the measurement I showed you at the beginning of the video. So that's the quantity of water that I'm using to dissolve my caustic soda. We are actually making an organic soap from scratch because most people what they do is that they go to the market and buy a soap base but this type of organic soap I'll be showing you today I will be making the soap base from scratch then converting it into an organic soap So you can see here I'm making use of a basin. So if you have a basin similar to this, you can also make use of it if you want to practice this video at home. So I'm using a basin. And I poured my palm kernel oil into the basin. So I'm going to pour my lye and water solution. That's the mixture of my caustic soda that I just did. Well, first of all, I'll add my sodium silicate. Now the, 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 what sodium silicate does in soap is that it makes the soap hard and it causes the soap to foam very well. It does two, two things. It makes your soap to be hard and it will cause your soap to foam very well. So you don't need to look for an extra foam booster. Sodium silicate will solve those two things at the same time. It's like using one stone in killing two beds. So I will continue stirring this till it gets into a thick trace. And when it reaches a thick trace, I will now add my ethanol. You saw the measurement I used for my ethanol at the beginning of the video. I showed my measurements for the ethanol, my lye or caustic soda, and I also showed measurements for my water and the, the measurement of my palm kernel oil. And I told you that I use uh, some certain table of spoons for my measurement for the sodium silicate. So if you didn't see this measurement, you can go back to the beginning of the video. You'll see the measurements I used for each of them. 
But if you want to know how to come up with your own measurement, or if you want to know how I got my measurement from scratch, you can check the description of this video. You will see a link to my soap making group on Facebook where I teach my members in the group how to make soap. If you check the link of this, I mean the description of this video, you will see a link to my soap making group. All you have to do is to click on the link and it will take you straight to my group on soap making on Facebook. You can become a member of my group. You will benefit a lot because I teach my members how to produce a lot of things, skincare products, I teach them there. So ju just click on the description of this video. You will see the link to my Facebook group. You can join from there and become a member of my Facebook group and you will benefit a lot from that group because I give them tips and tricks on soap making. I give them secrets. I give them, there's a lot of things posted there. You will learn a lot. Just click on the description. You will see a link. Click on the group on the link to take you straight to my group on soap making. So you can see I've added my ethanol. I'm going to stir it a little bit before I use a waterproof to cover it. You can use any color of waterproof. I use a black waterproof in covering this. Now the purpose of using waterproof to cover this is because ethanol is very volatile. It easily evaporates. So because I will put this on heat, it's going to be a double boiler method, which is there will be a container that has water. Then I will now place my soap mixture in that main container that has the water reason because I don't want it to burn because in direct heat on that um, stuff that I, you saw me putting ethanol inside if I put it on the heat directly it will cause it to burn so in order to uh, avoid this thing getting burnt I use a double boiler method and I place my soap there and I like to cook for like 15 to 20 minutes 15 to 20 minutes it should be ready so now, this, what this cooking does is that it speeds up the saponification process and causes my uh, soap to dissolve properly in my ethanol and also speed up the saponification process so that when I finish making this soap, I can use it immediately. So you can see my other ingredients that I'm adding there. This is going to be a very wonderful organic soap turmeric, sandalwood and other stuff. You can add even up to glycerin. Now the purpose of adding these ingredients when you have cooked your soap is because at this point, since you are cooking your soap, the most of the caustic soda is not there again because it has been it has gone through the saponification process and has turned to soap. So you don't have caustic soda meeting your ingredients because if caustic soda come in contact with most of your ingredients, it can condemn the ingredients or reduce the working power of the ingredients. So that's why I'm cooking it. Cooking it will make, will make it turn to a soap base. Cooking my soap will speed up saponification. And also when you cook your soap and you add fragrance, it will allow the fragrance to last because cold process soap making does not allow the fragrance of your soap to come out well. So once you cook it, cooking of soap has a lot of advantage. So I think it's I've gotten to 20 minutes now, so I'm going to check and observe what is happening inside. You can see the heat, you can see the, the, the steam, it shows that it's very hot. You can see what is happening there, that most of the soap um, uh, substance has dissolved in the ethanol. I'm going to pour my ingredient inside and mix it again 
and I've, I've not yet added my fragrance yet. This is because I want to mix my ingredients first. After I've mixed my ingredients, I'll now add my fragrance. And by this time, I have turned off the heat of the electric stove. So, the electric stove, I've turned it off because it's not good to put fragrance while your soap is heating up. Heat also affects fragrance. So, it's better you turn off your electric stove then you can now put your fragrance in. So, I've turned off, turned off my electric stove. Now, I'm, I'm mixing my ingredients together. So the next thing I will do is to add my fragrance. I'll add two bottle caps. So I pour the fragrance into the bottle cap. I did it the first time. Pour it into the bottle cap the second time. Then I did it into my soap. So after five hours, you can see the beautiful organic soap is hard, but I will still keep it for you know, the next 24 hours for it to get a bit harder. So the uh, harder it gets, the longer it lasts. So you can still keep it for like one week for it to continue getting very hard, so like to last, or you can keep it for like two weeks. But the soap current is ready for use because it has gone through the saponification process, so it's ready for use. So don't forget to check the description of this video. You will find the link to our Facebook group on soap making. You will learn a lot once you join that group. Check the description of this video. You will see the link to our Facebook group on soap making. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time on our next program. Goodbye.